Okay, breaking down this passage, we learned that equipment in mountain climbing has improved. So positive, yay. But what's happened? Injury has gone up. So there's a paradox here. How is it that if your equipment's better, mountain climbing is safer, suddenly there's more injuries. So we have to resolve that somehow. So we look here at the answers. And it says, hey, many climbers lulled into a false sense of security used a new equipment to attempt climbing feats of which they are not capable. So A gives us a reason for why this holds true. That is because people who are climbing think, oh, this is the new equipment. It's so much safer. I'm going to try some crazy jump from this rock to that rock. And next thing you know, they injure yourself. And so that's exactly what we're looking for. This reason here as to why safer equipment would actually lead to an increase in injuries. But let's take a look at the other answers, see why they're wrong. B, some mountain, climbers in, some mountain climbing injuries are caused by unforeseeable weather conditions. That's just simply giving us a reason why injuries are not are caused in the first place. It has nothing to do with this paradox up here. So boom, B's out. C, mountain climbing, although a dangerous sport, does not normally result in injury to the experienced climber. Well, now we're focusing on the experienced climber. That's not the focus up here. So out, out, let's see. D, in the past 10 years, there have been improvements in mountain climbing techniques as well as in mountain climbing equipment. Well, if that's the case, then injuries should definitely go down because it's doesn't explain this up here whatsoever, so D is out. And finally, E, although the rate of mountain climbing injuries has increased, the rate of mountain climbing deaths has not changed. We're focusing around injuries, nothing to do with deaths, so again, A is our answer.